Hey guys, so right now I'm going to be showing you how you can connect air directly to go high level. That way you don't have to use Xavier, you don't have to spend all that money on buying zaps every single month. And instead, you can have all your actions go from air straight to go high level, nothing in between. Okay, so the first step is you go to integrations up here and then you go to settings and you see where it says Zapier webhook URL. So you can actually put a whole bunch of different webhooks here. You can put any webhook you want. It says Zapier because that's what everyone's pretty much using. But you can put make, you can put go high level, you can put anything else really, okay? So then the second step is you're going to go over to your go high level account. I know this looks confusing, just to, you know, give me a second. You're going to create a new workflow and then you're going to start off with an inbound webhook. That's going to be the trigger, okay? So an inbound webhook. Uh, I know there's a lot of confusingness here, but just hear me out. So you start inbound webhook, you're going to see something like this, okay? It's going to be a URL. You're going to press copy here, copy that. You're going to go back to your air, erase this. I'm not going to erase it because uh, it's one of my client's accounts. I don't want to mess things up, but you erase all of this and you just paste that URL in there. So once again, you paste this in here, okay? Then you press save, and then you're going to go and you're going to just make a call with one of your air agents and make sure it performs an action, okay? So you're going to go to one of your air agents. I'll show you right now. Here's the quickest way to, to make something perform an action. Is you make a new agent, call it whatever, whatever, like this. Delete everything, and then just type out, uh, I will send a cow. Okay. And you need a seed phrase. Perfect. Okay, now you make I will send a cow in action. So we just come here. Uh, now I'll just put test cow. Here we go. So now what I would do is I would just call myself really quick. So there we go. So I call myself. It says I will send a cow. That triggers an action, which will then trigger a mapping reference. So you can click here. You can see all the mapping references. You click on the one that's going to pop up. I have a bunch because I've done this a bunch of times. But for you, if you just call once, it'll only be one. And you just click on it. If it doesn't work the first time, call uh, twice. Sometimes you have to call two times before it works, uh, just in my own experience. Uh, so then you click on the request, and then you can press save trigger. Okay. So once you press save trigger, again, don't cancel. Press save. I'm just showing you in a different way uh, because I'm not actually doing it. Right. So press save. Then you're going to uh, create slash update a contact. This will, should, will pop up automatically. And you want to make sure uh, that you have the full name and you have the phone number in there. Okay. Uh, and that's really all the info you're going to get unless you're doing an outbound campaign and you already have their email uh, in, in air. Then I'd also make an email field. Make sure you do that if you, if you have that information. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to come down here and you're going to put an if then. So it's like this. You type in if, if else, if else. Okay. So this is an if else. Then for each action, you make a new branch. Okay. So as you can see, you can add a branch. You guys will only have one at the beginning and I just added a bunch more. Right. So you can have as many branches as you want. I think it's up to like 10 and then there's like some tricks you have to do to get more. But uh, if that's a problem, just comment under this video and I can help you get more. Uh, but in general, yes. Yeah, so you just want to add new branches uh, and then you want to put the action. So I'll, I'll actually just show you. Oops. Let me cancel this just because I don't want to uh, mess it up. So send map link in Memorial Park. Right. So let me copy that and then we can cancel. This. So it's it would be. Inbound webhook trigger, and then you press action, and then is, and then you just paste the name of the action, okay? And then I'd also put the name up here. This does not matter. It has nothing to do with the workflow, but it's what shows up here, and it's much easier to keep track of everything if you name it what the action is called, okay? So I'd highly recommend whatever the action is called. Also put that up there. Uh, and then as you can see, I have 10 different actions down here, not through Xavier at all. It's all through Go High Level. And some of them are giving me SMS to, to the client. Some are giving me internal notifications. Uh, I mean, again, this is my client account, but my client's account. But it works perfectly, right? And it's a lot easier than Zapier because you don't have to do two different webhooks. It's also a lot cheaper because you don't have to pay for zaps. Uh, and webhooks are also a premium feature. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you. And once again, if you're a business trying to get into air, start using it in your own business, go to novaecho.tech and book a call with me and I can help you. I can give you some tips. I can show you a demo of what air can really do. And if you're an air agency and you're looking to outsource your work because you want to focus on sales and you want to focus on marketing, but you don't want to worry about the fulfillment, go to novaecho.solutions, also down in the description, and you can book a call with me there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.